I reactivated my Facebook on Monday. It is now Friday and last night I somehow, for some reason, have got 35 friend requests. I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> Where the feck have I been? I know, right? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I suppose you've been wondering where I've been, seeing as I haven't really been on social media for the last couple of months. Um, so if you're interested in to know what's going on in my life right now and what has been going on over the time of me being away, then please do keep on watching. To kick this video off, I am going to start by talking about all the exciting gigs that are happening at the moment. Um, obviously, um, Boris has announced that hopefully the world is reopening on um, the 21st of June. Well, the UK is, um, anyway. Fingers crossed. Um, so that means gigs are a go-go at the moment. And it's super exciting. Um, so I've got a script down here. So if I keep looking down during this video, it's because I've got a script because I've got so much I want to say, um, but I want to keep things. So bear with, bear with. Um, it's actually super crazy in the gigging world right now. Since Boris's announcement, there has been so much work to do in terms of rescheduling or altering lineups and announcing shows and booking even more gigs in than we anticipated. It has been so much fun to get back doing what I do best and work my little butt off. I haven't been able to properly work as a promoter for almost a year now and to finally get back into the swing of things has literally turned the light back on for me. It's like someone's gone dink and I'm like ah! and I feel like me again. So hi, I'm back. I am back. <laughs> Crazy Jody's <Jones> back <laughs> in a good way. Um, I feel like myself again and I am happy and confident and I'm looking forward to flourishing. The gigs coming up include these. The first one is going to be the reopening of the 1865, which takes place on the 21st of May this year. It is going to be a socially distanced gig, which means it will be seated and in tables of four. But it is with the amazing Stop Stop! And they have also got a new album coming out, which is super exciting. Um, so it'd be great to see that live in the flesh um, with support from Spiderbite, who are opening Nozfest 2021. Um, the next gig we have is the Bowie Experience. Um, they are coming again to the 1865 on the 29th of May. Followed by Gin Annie headlining with support from Gallo Circus and Crooked Shapes. Again, it's a socially distanced show, so you'll have to be seated. Um, and that is taking place on the 5th of June. After that, we have Nozfest 2021, which we do hope to take place. Fingers crossed, it should be taking place um, from what Boris has said. So far, things are a go-go. Um, so we have The Treatment, Mason Hill, Scam, Hollow Star, Collateral, Western Sand, The Wicked Jackals, <laughs> Travel County, Spider Bite, and there is another band, and I have forgotten them, and this is not good. One second. The Black Tree Vultures are unable to make Nozfest this year, but they will be on Nozfest 2022. So the replacement band is Beth Blade and the Beautiful Disasters, and that's why I forgot. <laughs> so yeah, Beth's back. We then have Surreal Panther with support from Skinny Knowledge, who their album is actually out today. Um, it's dropped today. Um, this is I'm filming this on Friday the fifth. Um, so go to Spotify and check out Skinny Knowledge. Um, and that'll be pl taking place on the 22nd of October. Then we have the first ever Nozlite taking place on the 6th of November. Tickets are already flying out the door for that one. I cannot believe the response I have got for that show is absolutely insane. And the bands on that lineup are Florence Black as headliners with Scarlet Rebels, White Raven Down and The Wicked Jackals, who are Nozfest favourites, of course. 
and I still have some more gigs that I need to book in and announce. Um, I have a couple of dates that are left. So if you are a band and you're looking to play and you don't mind playing social distance shows at the moment for the time being, trust me, it is not as bad as it sounds. I know you want to be out there having beer thrown in your face and God knows what, but at the moment we have to just sit and do what we can from our seats but trust me it's not that bad i had a sold out show with south salem which was socially distanced and it was an amazing vibe so trust me social distance is not as bad as not playing in my opinion um if you would like to submit or you're interested in any of the other projects that i have going on such as nos like nos fest and other rock nights please do get in touch on nosfest at yahoo.com you can get your tickets for any of these shows over on my website, which is www.nosfest.org and I will leave links for tickets in the description. I have also been working on a few other little projects whilst I have been away. Um, to start off with, I got to take part in a new project with the 1865 and virtual venues called Streaming Out Loud. I was asked to be the host for the show. There will be a link to the behind the scenes of that in the description below it was the previous video that I posted it was a lot of fun to take part in that and it's interesting to see where it's going I was also asked by a girl named Lucy and her friend to take part in a uniform in her university project about women in the music industry and they got to interview me last week and that was super cool it was really nice to speak to them and um, Emily actually said that um, it was really, she, find, she finds me really inspiring and it's given her more motivation to like do what she wants to do and that was something that was really really lovely to hear and thank you so much, that's so sweet. I hope, I hope your project's going well if you're um, watching this and if you need any more info you know where to find me. I'm also going to be booking more gigs in at the 1865 specifically. Um, the 1865 is in Southampton, just in case anyone watching this isn't aware and is wondering what I'm going on about all the time. It is in Southampton. Um, I'm really excited about this. It's going to be so exciting because I love working with that venue and they've always been so supportive of me and um, what I want to do. Um, so I can't wait to see what the future holds for both of us together. It's going to be, I think it's going to be a good one. I think it's going to be a good one. Um, I've also managed to book in 90% of the lineup for Nosfest 2022. Um, I'm just waiting um, to find a headline band, if not confirm on a headline band, which is really exciting because I pretty much finished it. And it's a re it's a really good lineup. It's it is it's a really good lineup. There's there's more local bands on it than my previous two lineups, um, which I'm not sure is a, if it's a good thing or a bad thing. But there are some amazing bands coming, and this lineup pretty much just filled itself in. I didn't really have to do a lot. Um, I did. That's a lie. I did have to do quite a bit. But at the same time, it just sort of came together so naturally which is what's so cool about doing things like this when the things just they just happen and oh, I love that I love that um but yeah I've got some pretty awesome bands on the lineup already and I'm so excited to see how it all comes together once I've booked in the headline act um so make sure you stay updated um on the website the Facebook page the Instagram and the Facebook group um Facebook the 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 group I'm really not doing well on wording here. The Facebook group actually has exclusive updates on it. So if you do join that, I will leave a link. Um, you will get exclusive things before everybody else. Um, so you might even find out who the bands are before other people, which is super exciting. And I just, I can't, I can't wait to share what I'm doing with everyone. It's, it's going to be really exciting. This bit might be a bit long. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail. I'm going to try and read it. Um, has I've written it on here just so that it gets it out of the way quicker with um, but I'm gonna this is basically the part of where I say why I deactivated my social media um, yeah but I'm gonna start off that section with don't do what I did and care about someone so much that you stop caring about yourself and to the point that you make yourself really ill because you're not taking care of yourself because you're too busy worrying about what they're doing don't do that it's not good for you it will backfire and just, just 
just don't just don't do it just don't don't do it okay so reading that part as follows i said i'd make a proper video addressing this topic i will put out more information maybe in a blog post i really don't want to discuss to discuss this in a video because i want this to be full of happiness and positivity um, but I basically needed to take a break from social media to fully focus on myself and understand what it is I want to do with my life and to stop worrying about everyone else for a second. It really did help and I wasn't even sure I really wanted to reactivate my accounts. Um, I'm still not, <laughs> I'm still not sure, um, but I'm, I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. <laughs> um... However, after announcing one of my gigs, I realised that I do need to use my social media for 90% of the work that I do, so I really did need to come back. I also realised that for some reason I help a lot of people and I inspire a lot of people also, and they want to see what I am up to, how I'm doing, and be able to connect with me a little easier. I still don't feel ready to share the ins and outs of my life with everyone, but I want to reconnect with bands and the people who support me, as well as my friends. So, I guess what I'm trying to say is my social medias are going to be a bit more professional and less personal. If you want more personal, I will still have a private Instagram where I will share more of my boring life on there instead. <laughs> I've put ha ha ha, okay. But my Facebooks and Jodie Bowie pages will be 90% music related content. I hope everyone is okay with that. I did actually ask on my Jodie Bowie Facebook page what people wanted to see from me in terms of content. And a lot of people wanted to see me. Which is super sweet and I still, I will do my best to accommodate. However, I am super passionate and buzzing about the music scene at the moment, so I want to try and focus more on that also. I really do want to get out more music content, I want to talk about bands and what I'm doing and gigs and everything music stuff, um, rather than what I was doing before, which was a bit of everything. I, ju I want to just really focus on music at the moment, so... Um, if, 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 if that isn't something that you really want to see, I'm sorry, um, but that's just what my, what my little world is like at the moment. I'm just so full of music and bands. There is so much going on at the moment with, with bands bringing out stuff that I just feel that I can't sit here and not talk about it because there's just so much exciting stuff happening, um, in my little circuit, in my little world, and I want to share it with people. Um... Stepping away from social media for such a long period of time helped me reconnect with who I am as a person and fully appreciate the people that I have in my life and those who really love and care about me. I got lost in a whirlwind of anxiety and other problems but I feel so much better now and I can see myself recovering. It shocked me when my therapist said I had gotten three times worse over the course of therapy but that helped me start get the ball rolling to improve. So I hope that gives a little bit of background as to why I was have been away. Um, sorry if it doesn't really answer any questions, if you did have any. Um, but basically, I want to do music. Um, and I'm going to try and be still authentic me. So like this, <laughs> like this. Um, but just be more music related stuff um, for the time being. Because that's what I really, really want to do. And I hope you understand. I'm not sure if anyone has noticed but I have dyed my hair. I mean, you can't really see, can you? But it is red and it is dark red. Um, I wanted dark red hair and then I dyed it and was like, oh, <laughs> I want red hair instead. Um, so I might dye again and it might be a bit brighter. But, <sighs> oh, it's not that bad, is it? It's quite nice. I'm having a bit of an identity crisis right now. I'm not sure if it's because I'm turning 25 soon in a couple of weeks. Oh my God, I'm going to be 25. <laughs> um, I can't work out if I want to wear suits, if I'm happy being scruffy like Josh Todd, or if I want to embra embrace the glam and class of Luke Spiller. I'm kind of doing all three at the moment and it's not really working, <laughs> um, but... I know a lot of people liked the sophisticated and natural look on me 
Um, and to be fair, I did sometimes like that as well, but I am a rock and roller at heart and looking pretty has never been something I've wanted. I've always wanted to look badass. Um, so I've been experimenting with my makeup and trying out different clothes to see what I feel most confident and comfortable in. Um, I don't know if you can tell, um, but experimenting and it's, it looks really shit, but <laughs> I'm trying here. This is also like flared and puffy. People have seen this before. I'm just, I'm just trying to be different. I mean, okay, I mean, I've got teeth in my ears, so I don't think I really need to worry about trying to be badass and stuff because I have teeth in my ears and I've got blood around my neck. So come on, who am I trying to kid here? I've never been <laughs> normal. I've never been a pretty girl, but hey ho, um, I'm just trying to figure out. I'm trying to figure out how how to look how I want to look, but I'm not sure how it is I want to look, and <laughs> it's really frustrating at the moment. <laughs> Um, it's going to be so much easier um, when the world opens up again, but right now um, I'm basically just getting dressed up to walk into my kitchen. Uh, I want to be more rock and roll! I want to be more rock and roll! Um, however that's going to work out, we shall see. So, <laughs> seeing as I am going to be 25 soon, um, and my birthday is still going to be in lockdown. Um, annoyingly, the, the rules change on my birthday. Um, so on the 29th of March, that's my birthday, you're allowed six to meet up with six people outside. And I'm like, it's still outside though. And it will be cold. And I don't know six people. So there is no point in that rule coming into place for me. <laughs> um, but I'm going to be 25. Um, I was meant to be watching The Who on their tour. Um, but that's obviously been cancelled. Um, thank you, COVID. Um, so I'm thinking of doing another movie night like I did last year. I did American Psycho with my friends. And I'm thinking I'll either do American Psycho again just because it is my favourite movie. Can't beat, you cannot beat Patrick Bateman. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, but I might also do The Dirt just because I know that so many people love that film and it's Motley Crue and it's fun and it's the dirt isn't it um so I might make a group chat again um, my friend Jordan did actually suggest that maybe I ask people to dress up as well which would be super exciting because we all know I'm pretty good at doing Mick Mars and Nikki Six, so <laughs> that'd be really cool too um so if you are interested in taking part in whatever I have planned for my 25th birthday please do get in touch um i'll probably make an event on facebook or something but that's just an idea um so basically if you're watching this and you haven't heard anything 29th of march 8 p.m watch the dirt on netflix done there you go and say it's for my birthday <laughs> um, um, it'll either be the 28th or 29th um because my birthday's on a monday so it'll probably be the 28th of march so let's start that again 28th of march netflix the dirt 8 p.m done sorted um yeah. and i'm going to finish this video off by life outside of lockdown because i've, I've seen a f I've, I've seen a few people say this to be honest and i feel like it's going to be really weird and a bit of a struggle to adjust um because i've just got back i i think most of us have just got used to living the way that we do and now we've got to try and like interact with society again and like hold a conversation like with other people that we perhaps don't even know and it's gonna be weird because we've been avoiding people for a year it'll be over a year it'll be like a year and a half or something we would have been avoiding people um, apart from like our close friends and our family and now we get to go out and do whatever the heck we want which I don't see working but we will see um there's hope <laughs> and there's light at the end of the tunnel um but it's gonna be so it's just gonna be so weird isn't it to be able to just go up to a random stranger and be like hi but then how do we have a conversation it's gonna be strange um i've also only really known someone through a lockdown so it's gonna be strange hanging out with them again when like life is genuinely back to normal and we can do what we want and go where we want and not be restricted and things like that so that's gonna be really weird and be weird when we both go back to work as well because our schedules will change 
So there's that as well to think about. And it's just going to be weird not being in a lockdown or under some sort of restrictions. But it's also made me appreciate this time of life because I did still manage to make some really great memories throughout this lockdown and COVID experience that I will treasure forever. And it's enabled me to grow as a person so much. Like how often do times like this happen? Like really, they don't happen often at all, do they? Like what, once every hundred years? Like we're gonna be fine, <laughs> we are going to be fine. Um, so as much as it does suck, I am actually quite grateful for the time it's given me and the lessons that it has taught me. <sighs> I'm sorry that was quite a bit of a long one. Um, hopefully you have enjoyed it. <laughs> but it feels really good actually to be sat down and talking like this and feeling hopefully I'm coming across more bubbly and happy and stuff which is great. and. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope there is something in this video that you've taken away, whether it's about my gigs or social media or lockdown, anything. I just hope that there's something in it that you've gone, yeah. So that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like to see more from me, please do subscribe to my channel. And if you have enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Please do also feel free to leave some comments in the description. Um, about anything that I've mentioned <laughs> um, and I will see you on the next one. Bye. If I had lipstick on my teeth for this entire video Feel like bloody Meghan Markle getting ready for my debut on Oprah. My life is so difficult being married to a prince. <laughs> oh, I think I'm booking my headline act. Oh, there's a lot of squealing in this video.